everything. Everything is ruined. I never should have trusted any of you. Thanks for the show. Your failure was magnificent. Your arrogance, your regret, and that look on your face when everything was ruined. They were all just perfect. Damn it! Where have you been, Eternity? You defrauded us. Taken every shop, Adonti. Squeezed us of every drop of sweat and blood. You swore the ceremony would go smoothly, and that you'd pay your highest respects to the inculcator of Arcanum, the Great Sufferer. You rotten, shameless liar. If I could only throw you into the depths of the Gorgon Current, I will crack your skull and make you bear the price of my pain. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about your Mediterranean roots. I must say, I didn't expect such courage from a coward who fled a battlefield. Your pitiful Sharpadontes are far from sufficient payment. No one would be stupid enough to go against the Foundation for so little profit. Besides, this was never part of the deal. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? That's Barobo and Nisha's daughter. And the weapon that boy carries? But listen... If you don't help me escape, I'll never pay you the other half. It's true that the people at the Foundation are all misers. They're still more generous than you. I, I can give you anything. Rare wands, alchemic materials, and jewelry. Lots and lots of jewelry. I got them from the Believers! There's more! I, I keep them in a cellar that only I have the key to. You're a dishonest customer, Apostle. You're lucky that your pockets aren't empty. Pack your stuff. Let's... Hey there, little lady. Nice to see you again. Eternity! You're a Manus follower too? I have no interest in the Manus. I just have some business to finish. You know I'll work with anyone if the deal is sweet enough. I'm a businesswoman. I always keep my word. I'm sure you understand that. Ugh, you're right. But that incriminates you nonetheless. I cannot let you escape. I would have to take the two of you to the Foundation. You can plead your case there. Let us get to know each other.
<sighs> this is what's been practiced countless times. Excuse me, I'm oh, sorry. A bit crowded here. All right, just one thing. I will be home by 10 p.m. I believe in you. My sword shot. Wow. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Sempre caro mi tu questa cole. Walking train. Flying handbag for only 3,000 Fibonacci. pay for this. our best advertisement. logistics department uh, how did she get it what's this How does she know Maman?
Everything's here. I, I swear. You'll have to make sure I get out of here safely. If you keep your word, I'll tell the future about you, and we can do more business together! Come out, Believer. There's been a change of plan. Follow me. Eternity will get us out of here. Huge collection of valuables and people just handed them over to you looks like religion is a profitable business oh, all right now escort me out of here I never promised any escort apostle did you ever hear me utter such a word but I did say I'd get you out of here safely. Hmm, let me see. If memory serves, that tricky little thing is... Ah, here it is. There you go. It's from the St. Pavlov Foundation. One of a kind. This gadget was stored in their headquarters. No one could lay a finger on it. But when chaos broke out, it fell into the hands of an employee looking to make a profit. What's this? Some kind of wind-up toy? How's this going to help me? Do I look like a complete idiot to you? <laughs> of course not, my dear customer. Just wind it when you need to use it. That's all, Apostle. What's it going to do? Turn me into some kind of beast? A three-headed dog or a, a crazed Bigfoot? <laughs> Listen to yourself. Why would I do that to a customer? You won't turn into a monster, I promise. There's still plenty of business to be done between the two of us. All right, time to say goodbye. It's been a pleasure working with you. Wait, wait! Great inculcator of Arcanum, please bless this child on his knees before you. I am willing to sacrifice every drop of blood in my body so that you may be revived. You, most about believer, wind this. <sighs> Turn it, understand? Wind the. Listen, I have to catch that woman. Those treasures belong to the great inculcator of Arcanum. I must not let her take them away. You stay here and take care of those gangsters. Very well.
I'll solve any problem for you, Master. Would you like me to break your creditor's neck? Will seduce a politician. I will obey your every command. As, as long as. As long as you allow me to have a little bit of fresh. jobs like this but could you be more specific who are them you all right lady you're doing our conversation was finally getting somewhere <laughs> as you wish master what One blow would do it. There's no need to struggle. 
I am a merciful hunter. When I penetrate your skull with this needle, you'll die quickly. You'll hardly suffer. Or would you rather I use a more ancient method? I could extract your spine and store it in a jar of formalin. Jay, she insisted on coming. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Of course! This is Matilda's order! What are you still doing here? We have captured all the peddlers and believers in the lair. Everyone's waiting for you. Did you catch the apostle? He's crucial to our investigation. Freaked me out, Frenchie. For a second there, I thought I'd have to rush you to the hospital. <laughs> My arcane skill exam scores are second to none. Of course, I can deal with such a simple trick. No. Matilda, Hollick, I need you to go and get all the arcanists who can still fight. Trying to carry out my master's order. Don't waste my time. Jay, are you okay? I'm fine. It's nothing. Good thing is the pain's kept me awake, and I can still move my arms. Like an exciting show. I wish I could sit down and watch. Enjoy it, miss. Fine. I'll use what I have. Ugh. This sucks, Dad. My forging's not even close to your level. A moment, your father was well, his arms were charred. There was nothing we could do. He was dying, 
but he wouldn't let the sword go. What I didn't know was that it wasn't he who was holding onto the sword, but the sword that was holding onto him. The next day, the sword was gone. And I saw you holding it in your arms, fast asleep in your bed. Stay away from it, kid. You may not have chosen it. <sighs> but it has chosen you. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Tang. Long time no see, buddy. A little dream with me, cutie pies. Uh, what the hell is this monster? Is this thing the girl that was just here? Hell of a transformation. Something here is very much not right. The smoke, it must be from her arcane skill. It seems to be affecting us somehow. Get back! Stay away from me! This sword's got a mind of its own, and it ain't happy! Boss? She, uh, she's moving! Watch yourself! Good time, boys and girls.
huh? A sword shop. Take it easy. I believe in you. <laughs> I know them all. And this is an alien city. <laughs> Don't be so hard. How about we get a little bit more up close and personal? Bloody prom! I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Let me ask you to These glowing lights. We are the master and weaving of the place. The 
ocean dried and I'm alone again. little game. But you just won't be satisfied until it's over, will you? Go! Just stay where you are! Hide yourself. <laughs> Just listen to him, will you? This is starting to become bothersome. No! 
No, no, I have to do this. <sighs> Jay, <coughs> tell Beckett that I didn't, I didn't run away or cause any trouble this time. I'm more useful than he thinks. <laughs> right, boss? He'll never make fun of me again. <laughs> Damn it! to see the smoke.